So let's start with section number one, which is properties of pure substances in general. Let's see, of course, what's a pure substance. Uh, the basic definition, probably you think some definition, or you have an idea of what is, but let's do it formally. A pure substance is a fixed chemical composition. This is very important. It's fixed. It does not change with temperature, heat, water, etc. All that kind of other processes that we could change, but the substance will stay the same. And it's homogeneous along the whole system. A mixture of various elements or chemical compounds are also known as pure substances. Well, of course, mixture of pure substances. Uh, for example, let me give you water. H2O is pure substance. CO2 is a pure substance. And nitrogen gas is a pure substance. Now let me show you this little, I love this diagram. Everything, literally everything in the universe might be either considered mass or energy. Since we're not speaking right now about energy, we're speaking about substances. Uh, in matter, we have substances, which are either pure substances or a mixture of substances, such as, I don't know, maybe a beer will be a mixture, your salad will be a mixture, sand is also a mixture, air is also a mixture. But what is essentially pure substances? Well, of course, elements by itself, O2, nitrogen, copper, aluminium, all that. And compounds, which may be water, H2O, maybe, I don't know, methane, maybe carbon dioxide. You know, compounds are different, at least two different elements. And that's essentially a pure substance. I got another here, right here. Pure substances may be divided in elements, which are either atoms or molecules. Of course, they need to be of the same uh, type. If not, they will be molecules in the form of compounds, such as CO2, water. And you may also have ions, which will be these here or these here, right here. Okay, perfect. What is not a pure substance? Well, of course, the mixture of elements. If you have maybe a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, this will be, by definition, a mixture. Or a mixture of compounds, for example, air, which is N2 and has water as a vapor and CO2 and methane and many other gases. This is a mixture of compounds. Like the one I told you, air, seawater, of course, it's water with a lot of salts calcium, magnesium, etc. Or even ethanol and water, which is contained in alcoholic drinks, plus other flavors and other material. What's up, guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.